All right, we're going to find sine 2a, cosine 2a, and tangent 2a, given that the cosine of a equals negative 3 fifths, and it terminates in quadrant 2. So first of all, we're going to draw in our triangle. Terminates in quadrant 2 means that the angle goes on in quadrant 2. It's here, because that's quadrant 2, right? And it's the cosine is negative 3 fifths. So remember, the cosine is... So opposite Co over cosine hypotenuse. is opposite over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So co oh, ka, my bad. Yeah, adjacent. adjacent over hypotenuse. So there's my angle. It's negative three fifths, which means this. This point or this value is five. This value Wait, how do you know is negative adjacent? three. Okay, what's adjacent? What's opposite? Whoops, again? I did that wrong. This value is negative three. Let me start over. Let me start over with that picture because I didn't draw that picture very good. Let me even start over again. All right, close enough. So this is my triangle. Start it at the origin and draw it like that, okay? And this is negative three and this is five. That's what it means that it, the cosine of A, so here's my angle A right here. And it terminates in quadrant two. Mm -hmm. See, because it could have terminated in quadrant three, if it because cosine is negative in quadrant two or three, so it has to tell you where it terminates. So what's my what's this value over here? What's my opposite value? Four. Good four. It's a three four five triangle. Yeah. All right. So now they want us to find sine two a, cosine two a, and tangent two a. So there's a formula for the sine two a. What's the formula? Sine two a equals. So that equals two sine a cosine a and we already know what cosine a is and sine a is four fifths so it's two times four fifths times negative three fifths you just mentioned this is the opposite in hypotenuse and remember this is the yeah so the remember the sine now that i drew a in here you can just write your sine sine of a equals four fifths because it's the opposite over the hypotenuse Cosine of A, of course, is negative three-fifths. And tangent of A, that's good to know, too. Tangent of A is um, opposite over adjacent, so it's negative four-thirds. Okay. Opposite over adjacent. Okay? So now then we just simplify that so that nothing can cancel out. So that's over 25. It's negative 24 25ths. Okay. Okay? So there's your sine. Your cosine, look at your formulas for cosine. Your cosine of 2A... And there's several formulas for it. You can use any one that you want. Um, I'm just going to use the cosine squared. Minus cosine squared. Cosine squared minus sine squared. Yeah, it's cosine squared A minus sine squared A. So that equals the cosine is negative 3 fifths squared minus 4 fifths squared, which equals... 9 fifth 20 fifths minus 16 20 fifths which equals negative 7 20 fifths okay. so there's your cosine 2a and then the last one is the tangent 2a I'll look at the formula for tangent 2a and there's our tangent 2a formula mm -hmm. so that equals 2 and notice I wrote tangent over here it's negative 4 thirds so that's 2 times negative 4 thirds all over 1 minus negative 4 thirds squared. Simplifying that, I'm going to show you a little trick here too while we're at it, by the way. That's negative 8 thirds all over 1 minus, be careful with those signs, your minus is still there because this squared takes care of that minus there. It turns it into a positive, but you still have a minus there. So minus, um, whoops, 16, 16 ninths. Okay, now 16 ninths, we're going to do a little work up at the top. So that's negative 8 thirds over um, 16 over 16 minus, I'm sorry, 9 over 9 minus 16. So that's negative 7 ninths. Wait, how do you get that? I'm, oh, because I'm turning this in, whoops, I'm turning this into 9 ninths. One, I'm oh. turning into 9 ninths. I did oh. that on the bottom. So 9 minus 16 is negative 7. So it's negative 7 ninths. Now multiply by the reciprocal. So this is times negative 9 sevenths. 
Now, simplify before you complicate. A lot of people multiply these things together. Don't multiply them together. Cancel what you can cancel first. So that's just three. And now negative eight. Negative three, yeah. But negative eight times negative three is positive 24. <coughs> and then seven is what you're left with on the bottom. So 24 sevenths. Okay. And so those are your answers. Whoops, that should have been purple.